Welcome inside the dugout, powered by CubanDugout.com, your source for discovering Cuban baseball. Victor Mesa Jr. might be the face of the new Cuban baseball world. The path for most Cubans to MLB was similar for the past 25 years. Extended success in the National Series, a prominent role with the national team, leading to a mature player taking a chance and leaving Cuba behind to risk much to achieve even more. Mesa Jr. could be the first to leave as a teenager, skip most of the Cuban development path, and instead come of age in a major league organization. He is at least the most recognizable name in a cohort of Cuban youngsters that are blazing this new trail. Let's get inside the dugout and find out if Victor Mesa Jr. might be the new face of Cuban baseball. Victor Mesa Jr. is of course the son of Victor Mesa and the brother of Victor Victor Mesa, both of whom I touched on in a previous video. The Marlins made a big splash in 2018, signing both brothers and spending their bonus pool almost exclusively on the youngsters. Victor Victor received $5.25 million, while Victor Jr. appeared almost as a consolation prize at $1.25 million. Victor Jr. may have received less due to his age and lack of Cuban National Series experience, but those two factors might prove to be his strength, or at least now contribute to him outranking his older brother on the Marlins prospect depth chart. The lefty is 6 feet tall and 187 pounds. Perhaps not the natural athlete his brother is, he has played most of his time in center, but some think he'll settle in left. His smooth left-handed swing is what most point to as what will drive his future success. His swing mechanics resemble fellow countryman Yuli Gurriel, but obviously from the other side of the plate. As mentioned, he represents a new generation of Cuban baseball player who, while well-served incubating in a baseball hotbed, will play most of their meaningful baseball off the island in a professional development environment. Due to the recency of this phenomenon, we have yet to see a Cuban youngster arrive in the show. It serves as sort of nature versus nurture debate. Cubans of the past excelled because the nature of the island was to play as much as possible, where the American system can better nurture with better nutrition, training methods, and focus. The Marlins also invested in young Cuban shortstop Yidi Cape, who represents a similar tantalizing project. Little is known about him beyond what scouts have seen of him since signing. At his age, is his past in Cuba even relevant? Versus the chance to affordably mold a 6'3", lithe athlete with tools that scouts drool over. Some projections have him growing into his body and into a third baseman. Miami at least appears to be embracing Cuban prospects. Even if in the past Levon Hernandez and Jose Fernandez excelled, they have never connected with the Miami Cuban community. A greater focus on developing young Cuban ballplayers might go a long way in attracting that community. Mesa Jr., like many, had his 2020 season wiped out by coronavirus, but at just 19 years of age is the number 14 prospect in the Maryland system. This is off the back of an impressive debut pro season in 2019 as a 17-year-old. He began in extended spring training, but eventually graduated to Rookie Gulf Coast League. He hit a solid 284 with a 366 on base percentage. His 29 strikeouts and 176 at bats need work, but his 24 walks were impressive for a player yet to attend high school prom. Twenty twenty one will be a big year for both Mesas. Victor Victor needs to reestablish his prospect value, and Victor Jr. can continue his rapid progress. And although no one really expects him in the show this year, if he can break into the Maryland's top ten, he might force them to consider promoting him before he even enters his twenties. If he can debut sooner than later and stick, he has the potential to build a long resume, longer than most Cuban baseball players. He has the potential to become the face of a new generation of Cuban baseball players. His social media handle is the chosen one, and it might be more than bravado. As always, subscribe here on YouTube, smash the like button like a hanging slider, or share this video.